two four-foot beams, one connecting bracket, three black knobs for the risers, 22 screws, one center riser, and two end risers. Start by aligning the two beams. Place a bracket over the two beams. The center riser will fit over the bracket. For now, turn the beams on their side. We need to gently tap a pilot hole for the screw. Grab the bracket against the beam tightly before tapping. A hammer is optional, just poking an indent will be enough. Before tapping that pilot hole on the left beam, make sure to push the two beams together as much as you can. Drill the screw into the beam. Turn the beam on its other side. Again, squeeze the bracket against the beam tightly, then make the indent. Drill in the screw while holding the bracket tightly against the beam. Do the same for the end hole. Turn the beam over and place a center riser over the bracket. Drive in all six screws. Back to the pilot hole. If you tap the pilot hole too hard, the screw threads will not grab. You can always buy larger diameter screws from the Home Depot. Move to the end of the beam. Place the end riser approximately three to four inches from the end. It does not matter which way the hole is facing for the risers. Make sure the riser is parallel to the beam. Drive in all six screws. Move to the other end of the beam. Place the end riser parallel to the beam. Drive in all six screws. Slide the end riser over the inner tube. Screw on the riser knob. You will need to fish for the hole a bit. Tighten the knob. Do the same for the center riser and the other end riser. Thank you for purchasing our gymnastics beam. Our beams come in 4, 8, 12, and 16 feet. Feel free to contact us at gymtodance.com.